Hello everybody. So, as promised, we are going to work over there today. Gonna need that. And I think that's it. Oh, oh. Oops. Yeah, I got some leather in there because my armor is mostly gone. So, my forest is regrown. So we got plenty of chopping to do a little bit later. For now, it is late fall, and I thought it was time to start working on a little bit of garden here. So, I'm going to get rid of these four, and... No, I really didn't want to do that, but... I'm going to do that and that. I don't have my bucket on me anymore. Hold on a second. I want to move around where my chests and such are. That way that sneaky bastard Mike can't find them. Uh-huh. You heard me. You heard me. So I wonder what happens when we dump... Eh, huh, nothing. Say what happens when you dump finite water on top of source blocks? Absolutely not. So this is actually a block of a uh, bucket of finite water in the center here, and I just want to do this. This will keep it out of the way. So we won't have to worry about it. There, we're in water mode. All of these are properly watered, even out of the corners. Okay, so we're good. Uh, my plan is to do little three by three grids of this, uh, of the vegetables here, and the uh, grains and such. So I'm gonna do a three by three of rye because I find rye to be a fairly high yield crop. So we'll do the rye right here. Uh, after that, I've always liked tomatoes, so I thought we'd do uh, tomato seed. How they fit those poles in these tiny little bags, I may never know. That works there, so let's get rid of the rye and that. And now's where it really comes down to what else do we want to fool around with? Uh, I got a few peppers, so I thought we would do. Uh, I got three and four of these, so I'm actually going to think peppers around here. We'll just do the three and the three. So that was uh, red and yellow. Apparently, you just pick them early if you want green, but you get no seeds for them. Um, what would be good right here? Two oat seeds that would kind of go in there. Eight maize. All right, I got one maize and one green bean. So we'll do the maize right there, the green bean right here. How's that? Looking good to me so far. Uh, the things we have a ton of are garlic and onions. Now those are like. The two best things you can ever eat. <laughs> Every good thing that you ever enjoyed eating starts with garlic and onions. And maybe a little bit of a butter uh, sautéing. That was with too many. I didn't want that many. Let's pick those back up. I wanted to do one row of garlic and two little rows of onions. That will be very nice there. And carrots. We have a couple of these. So they will be up next. Right now I'm pretty much planting just to uh, expand the growth, so to speak. Uh, we have a lot of soybeans so they can take up their entire area. There we go. And squash. Actually I think the squash can finish off... There. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Leaves us one extra. We have wheat. We have oats. Oh, I gotta make rice into seeds. Probably just make a couple of them right now. We already did the soybeans. Potatoes. Squash. And cabbage. So we need to find a spot for all of those. This is our rye. I'm going to give a little bit of a buffer here to potatoes. There we are. Uh, do the wheat seeds next because they'll finish off the 3x3. Three three. And that's pretty much these 3x9 uh, or 3x6 here. Pretty much left to these guys. So do the squash there. Two oat seeds and the cabbage. Then we will just take whatever we want. Oh, rice, rice. Yeah, why not? One, two, three, four, five. We'll do up a nice three by three of the rice. Gives us a pretty full garden. Don't really want any more garlic. Got more than enough onions. What was the one I put back in here already? Tomatoes, uh, rye. Yeah, I'll do the bell pepper, why not? Alright, we are back. So, bell pepper, right in the corner. It is very, very nice. And it started raining, which, you know, I guess isn't too bad of a thing. Got everything in there. So, let's go take a look at our leather. It's gonna be a while for that stuff to grow. So, I figured, uh, we got it in the ground. We now have, uh, our house is actually starting to shape up, it's starting to look more house-like. And I really want to focus on getting a uh, a forge going. So these are these torches here are kind of kind of the layout I was thinking. A forge could go there. Uh, the little forge block would be in the center here, and this would be enough room for two bloomeries, one on each side of those torches there. But it does kind of take up the majority of this room. I mean, I, I really don't have, like, the uh, bedroom sort of deal. It could be more so done in here. So maybe, maybe if I put a wall here, and then over to that. Like, I don't really have temporary building materials to try and lay these things out. Oak blocks, you'll do. So if we go we could put the bed in here, we would just have to move the forge around. Uh, or maybe just a single bloomery and a forge. That might actually work out better. Why do I need two bloomeries for anyways? So if we put the bedroom in here, can look out the window. It's very nice. All right, I'm in bed. That's funny. And daylight. What's funny? I was when it like started to become nighttime. I waited like a few minutes, just like up top, because I was doing stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, I just went back down to my bean. Ah. ah. And there they grow. Okay. So, the forge will definitely help with making glass. Um, campfires cannot get hot enough to make glass out of sand, except with bellows and hickory. So I didn't feel like smelting down a ton of glass. <laughs> So instead we're going to work on setting up a forge. Now the forge is going to be a little bit tricky, but we're actually going to game the system a little bit here. Is That's the area that the forge is going to go in. And I need to get out of the water. Come on. There we go. And I just happen to have some stone that we will light our forge in. 
Not this stuff. Well, we could probably do this stuff though. So right light here. This is uh, courtesy of Dunk, who I guess doesn't need it at the time being, or for the time being. So that for the bottom. There we go. This will be where we put our forge. The bloomery will go right up the back here as well. Let me get this piece gone. And that piece in place. Uh, but what we need for this is either charcoal and or uh, coal. Uh, it takes 8 charcoal or 9 coal to light a forge. And for that we are going to need a charcoal pit. Now normally when I build a charcoal pit, it's in the side of something. Uh, it's in a cliff face, in a mountain, something. However, <laughs> don't really have that option as we are fairly flat in this area. So I thought about doing one over here. But now that I have my garden here, I'm not so sure I'm keen on the idea. Uh, they can be pretty much any size any dimension that you want. Uh, there's a whole bunch of torches and such up there, so I'm assuming... I'm guessing that uh, that's Nick Smith's place. So I don't want to build it over there anymore. need to fill in a lot of the gravel I took out from there. Let's try... Preferably not somewhere too far away, maybe even underneath the water here. I mean, what would be neater than a uh, glass topped. Uh, glass topped charcoal pit? Except I can't get my glass back. <laughs> oh, I wish I had found some coal we were out digging around. So far, all we found is copper and castorite. Whee. Let me put the stones back. Got that. Hickory plank in waiting. Oh, armor. Let me actually... Let me craft some armor here. So, helmet. Just like that. And I'm going to do the full set. I know you guys have seen me do this a couple of times now. There we go. And the knife. Leggings are just straight up the middle. And the boots are always the one... Oops, that's a... What are we going to need next? Probably a shovel. Let me do that real quick. Do you put the bellows on the same height as the forge block, or the one above it? I think either or. Alrighty. Either or should work. There we go. Ah, uh, the leggings, the leggings. Oh, look at that, I can click two pieces at the same time there. Okay, so there are at least two, and then I think I go down three and over. Get rid of those and just take out that. Alright, there we go. It's the first time I've not had to look that up. So let's put this on, we'll swap out these pieces here. Ta-da! And all these barrels should be pretty much empty. Just going to actually empty them out. So they'll be ready for next time. Okay. So I think for now, we can put our hoe back. We're not going to need that in the immediate future. And there's nothing else there we're going to need. So, if I wanted to do an underwater underwater charcoal pit 
probably put the entrance somewhere around here. Not too much in the way, though. Let's get an oak plank block. Assuming that's a solid wall. So we'll do that here. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever used that bug on purpose. However, I'm going to need that to be stairs. Unfortunately, the only way to get stairs is with a chisel and a hammer. Fortunately, I have those things. They're sitting over on that uh, set of items I said I wouldn't need. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, trolling myself. Alright, one chisel, one hammer. Just put them right here. I also need the material I'm going to make this out of, or make these stairs out of. And ooh, shale would definitely be my first choice. Shale would definitely be my first choice. Now, unfortunately, I left most of the shale that way. So, uh, I'm gonna go get some shale. I'll be right back. So I am just coming back. Got my shale. Doo, doo, doo. And decided to kind of do the whole thing in shale. So just this corner of the house is going to be made out of this material. So this is going to take a little bit more planning. I got uh, four stacks, or uh, two vanilla stack size, of the. Uh, Shale smooth stone, which is the uh, the pattern I really liked, so I got all that. And the goal will be to make a uh, sort of chimney, chimney, a uh, chimney structure for both the forge and the uh, bloomery. I don't know if I can do this, which is why I'm not going to do it. Alright, so let's move this one back. And just this whole part of the house is going to end up being shale. So let's do this right. And Dunk Leosis also donated this item, which is uh, the Bloomery, Bloomery block. <laughs> uh, what you would normally do to get the Bloomery block is you take your uh, chisel and you make bricks out of any sort of material uh, that I just happen to have some granite rocks on me. Uh, you then take uh, eight of those bricks and surround a piece of charcoal that gets you your bloomery block. So it's the interface for all of this. And this one I actually am going to look up because I'm not sure if I need to replace the corners on the base. I don't think I do actually. But maybe I do. Terraformer Craft Wiki Bloomery. There we go. Ooh, they have a nice little picture. Yeah, they're all showing a solid base, which I do have right there. So I'm going to put the Bloomery block in. Here. Now it's not a valid location. Okay, I was going to seal it up afterwards, but I guess I needed to put it in first. So there we go. 
we have our bloomery. Uh, the thing about these is that we're going to need access to this chimney here. Uh, this will probably be done by a, uh, a ladder, as I'll put a little step ladder or something up on the right hand side there. But for our forge, it's going to go like that. Then we'll get rid of this. And it will just have its chimney going up the back like that. Me. I, I just think this block looks so cool. Nope. Damn it. Alright, let's take this down. Take this down. I need to swap over to here real quick. That was good. And I want two more pieces right here. Looks a little derpy on the right hand side with that being there. But this is the intent here. So we're going to go back to our chisel, go into stair mode, do a little bit of angling up here. Let's get out a little bit more shale. Watch me run out of this material before we even get to the thing that I bought it for, or that I just bought it for, that I made it for. <laughs> so if I put this here, that there, go back to the stairs, and this will give me access right here. For sake of symmetry on the outside of the house though, This is the part that becomes tricky, is with needing access to up there, what do you do here? And do I get these back? No, I don't. That is a chip. Okay, so if I want this to be somewhat similar looking, then I need to do that, that, and that. We'll chisel up the bottom here. Uh. Okay, try this again. What am I doing wrong? I should be able What's to chisel up? that. It won't let me turn this block into a staircase. It's very odd. Very, very odd indeed. Now I can still break it. Alright, let's focus on the more pressing matters then. Is we will need... Really? That goes all the way up there? There we go. Put that there. We need a next block to go this way. So when we come up, we come up. And this is where we will be building into the water zone. So. Oh. Is that going to look okay? Actually, you know what? I don't mind that being right at the surface level like that. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that. Let's go down there and put a couple more blocks. <laughs> Alright, that's really weird. Why can I see all this screwed up water here? Is it just because I have blocks on... Oh. It might be... No, this should all be solid water down here. Alright, we'll worry about that later. All I wanted to do here... Was kind of solidify that off. And why? Oh, because I can't get out over there. It's like, why did I swim all the way around? Instead of just going down the stairs. <laughs> Is all no? Because here's some nice open water. What the? If anybody knows what that is, please let me know. That just looks weird. Uh, 
I am slightly concerned now, having only, uh, ooh, what is it, yeah, 84, 74, 77 pieces of cobblestone left. How's that doing that? It fills up? Is it creating another source block like that? Anyways, that's not my concern. That's not what I'm here for. I do think that that's filled up finite water. That's why it's flickering around all weird like that. And <laughs> they're filled up again. Huh. You are asleep? Oh uh, yeah, I can hit a bed real quick. Alright, I am in bed. In daylight. Ta-da! Gracias. Put that down there. Let's dig down again. Get our hammer back into our bar. Am I going to need to get rid of another? I think I am. It's a little disappointing. Oh, unless I could... Just put that down to a half slab. No, because I still need to be this height right here, even with that being a half slab. Oh, 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 oh. I could wedge these back one. All right, loss of another three pieces of shale. And you know what, water? I'm kind of uh, done with you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so uh, let me dig up this piece here just so I can get back up top. Okay, so plan is we put a block there. We go to our chisel, which we are just going to be abusing the crap out of this thing. We do one, two, three, four. That makes it half slabby. And then from this angle, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's kind of put the step all the way back. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Then we get this block here. And we can do the same kind of thing here, as we can inset the step backwards. And I need something else to stand on. So I'm going to need a block here. And now we're going to one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're making stairs, but we're making them back one. So we go down there. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, no, no! Yep, that broke the step. All because of the angle. Alright, well, we're gonna need a block there. Grr. Go away, water. Okay, okay. So, step. We do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this should... Oh. Hold on one second, guys.
All right, sorry about that, guys. I uh, just got some more information on uh, the reason I'm doing all this stuff and trying to remember it all. So if we put that there, see how this lets us get down below? Is we're now slipping down that half block we need before we get underneath here, so it just works out nicely. It's very, very nice. So, one, two, three, four. And that's as far down as we can go without expanding our upper area here. So, let's take out that. We'll get the water flowing again. We get that going. And I think right there is where we can start going down the way of water. Seriously? Are you going to derp up and down the entire freaking staircase? Jeez. Okay, one, two, three, four. We have our nice staircase. This is all working. We need to replace this block. There we go. And this is now far down enough for us to do, well, pretty much whatever the hell we want. Is I could either make this be the floor, but I think I'm actually going to go down and make this be the floor level here. Clay is not a block that will fall. So we can do a little bit of digging out around here. See exactly what we're looking at for size. Let's also see how this all lines up. So if we have that there, I kind of like to center center this, you know, over that. So let's do diligence just to make it look nice. I think that looks pretty good from the outside. Let's just add that on there for semblance. Does the left side go up one? Left side does go up one. Nice. I might put a block in here and just uh, edge it off to those sides. We'll see how that goes. But let's now focus on our charcoal pit. The size of the charcoal pit is going to dictate a lot of things, really. It's how often we need to fill it, and what our rewards will be from filling it. So the center of the area is going to be like right there. So it's one, two, three, four. One. Oh, I already forgot if I counted this one or not. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five counting this, so... One, two, three, four, five. That is the center right there. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, I hope bread is worth it. I just decided to actually put together the corn, the mm -hmm. corn or whatever the hell you, however you pronounce it, uh, and pain in the butt. Are you colored not impressed? Huh? Are you not impressed with it? I am not impressed. Well, it's only supposed to be for making bread, which is only for extending the possibilities of what recipes you can make. So let's put at least one more block here. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that eventually, but I'm not in a rush to do that yet. I mean, hell, there isn't even really a need for a rush on the food in general. Yeah. On the meals, I mean. Yep, let's finish off this.
So uh, the keys you can hear me hitting there, the, they cycle the image on the bottom right hand corner. Uh, this is... Okay, that's smooth. That's how I made all this shale. This is the staircases. You've seen me use this. This is the reduce it by an eighth. Uh, it's how we shrink down the, the blocks into the little uh, wedge pieces that we're looking at. This is supposed to do the microblock stuff. I haven't really gotten into microblocking yet, so that'll be an adventure for a different time. What I just... What the... Oh, seriously, stupid game. Uh, do, 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 do. Try you one more time. One more time, buddy. No! No! You are upside down! Well, you're right side up. I want you to be upside down. Oh, okay, that's a full block. Let me lessen my height a little. Yeah, there we go. Put the full block back in. Nice, there we are. So this is where I'd probably put the door. Although, what I'm thinking of doing here is just shimming up the side. Uh, micro blocks don't catch fire, especially ones made out of stone. Yeah, makes sense, you know. Uh, woo, sploosh. Uh, so you can use them as a door that you can actually walk through, but the fire can't get through. It actually works out really nice like that. Let's clear out at least. That is why we made the other pick or other shovel head. Let's clear out at least a 3x3 three three room down here, though. So I'm actually thinking of going down one more. So that puts us here. I'll put a little half slab at the bottom here that I'm standing on. This will just be a flat one. And let's change over to the half slab. One, two, three, four. And then here is where we'll actually put the floor. So let's go one more back this way. I get the impression I'm going to be just shy of how much uh, <laughs> shale I needed. Alright, I'm going to hop off the edge here and look under here. I kind of wanted this to be under water, so I'm thinking I'm bringing that piece down. Is yes, I need to have water up on the top kind of dripping on the, the charcoal. Just, <laughs> I want that effect. Uh, I know it won't actually do anything. So yeah, I want to replace this layer. I don't want to go up one. I actually want to replace that one. <laughs> Alright, now we'll put the torch there for the light. Let's break you out. Put you there. Okay, now we just do this whole outside ring here. And before I drown... There we go. I now have my 3x3 three three charcoal pit could still make it a 3x4 if I wanted to. I could drop this down one more layer. So I could inch that back and then drop this down. Alright, first things first. This should be all dry work here. And I'm going to need another shovel by like six blocks. <laughs> oh, ten blocks. 
Alright, that is why we got the granite though. Avoid these quick little piddling tasks. Oh, 12. We gotta redo those two. Well, I unfortunately only have 12 blocks. Look at that. Isn't that just a kick in the pants? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 11, 16, 17. So I missed it by 17 blocks. And if I have to go back and get more anyways, let's give ourselves one more block in height here. So to do that, we're still on the half slabbing, which is good. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to get this one out of the way until I get the measurements right. So we'll need one here. And one there. We'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we'll need to redo all these. And this will be our charcoal pit. How about that? And I just forgot about the door, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back when we get a little bit more shale and we'll figure out this whole door situation. I might have to raise this back up one. So I will talk to you guys again in a moment. So guys, we are just returning from yet another adventure to Svel or Shale Land. <laughs> Got about a uh, almost another four stacks. Not quite, but almost. Yeah, only got eleven in this one, but that should be enough for us to figure and finish this off. Okay, so it looks like a pretty big, big room. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I think we can, I think we can make do with just the four tall. I don't think we need the five tall. Uh, four tall will give us, I believe, twenty-eight piles of uh, lumber. No, that doesn't seem right. Uh, Thirty-six piles of lumber. That seems better. 36 is always better than uh, 27. So I'm just going to fill this right there back in. We will lose this. So that's one more piece wasted. I will get this guy back. That'll be good. Odd piece of dirt there. Just finish up the walls here. No, okay, it did end up being 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So this is actually 26, because we will need one block for uh, the fire right there. Just make all this look pretty. There we are. This now becomes the tricky part, is does that work? I think we'll need a block here, and we'll need to staircase it. Yep, see I can't get up right there? And it's not letting me staircase it, of course. Oh, from that angle I can staircase it, yay! No, 
other way around. Why is this always so difficult? Okay, this is really starting to annoy me. Why can't I do that? Well, that should work. It's not exactly the look I wanted, but... You know, as long as it works. There we go. This leaves a 2x2 two two to walk in through, so the room is completely sealed off. So, like how you can just barely see right there. And you know what? I may even... No, oh, that's right in front of it. I was thinking if that was hidden underneath stuff, I might even look like it, uh, may make it look like it's going up there to support the floor in this particular area. Maybe I'll just drop the floor down. We'll see. Ah, uh, but next steps, next steps are definitely important. So there's the three of those. Oh god, another fire starter. Why not? There we go. Now the key would be to fill this room filled with blocks and blocks of lumber, which I might go hunting down a copac tree uh, in order to get. <laughs> uh, we'll actually let this burn out. We don't want that to be lit when we're filling the, uh, the place up. It'll start cooking down without us. And we don't exactly want that. But I'm very happy with the way that this is turning out so far coming along very very nicely alright so if I wanted to do the sneaky 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 wall I think what I would actually end up doing like for this top piece if I go down here put a block right above me then chisel the crap out of it. Because I'm not exactly too tall. I think we're, um, two blocks under. So, uh, that. Tall. No, excuse me, not two not blocks. Two blocks. Two, it, um, pixels. So, that right there would act as a uh, fire couldn't get through here this would count as a solid block it would not be able to catch it on fire and all I have to do is walk underneath it <laughs> isn't that pretty cool so now all I have to worry about is the bottom here and honestly I'd like to put something simply stupid um, like a trap door would actually work right there just a little hatch you know that I could chuck stuff out of uh, and this will give me full access to just about everything in here. And the other thing I could do is bury a little lip right there. Right there. Let's just see what that would look like. There, I do believe... Whoa! Why did that make me go up? Okay guys, this is... just weird. I can climb this wall. 
It works on both of them. Okay, I don't like the little up and down flip flop that gives me though. So let's uh let's ditch that. Yeah, it was definitely that little block that was giving me whoa, look at that though. You know, it's acting like a ladder, and I do seem to recall that you were able to chisel blocks into ladders. Uh, so that might actually be plan logic that just isn't really widely remembered, because that was back when I was still actively playing, uh, like, uh... Into ladders? Back in o October. Well, I you can just put little I, pieces, and you can grab I onto them and that with Marus. I always play with Marus. I didn't test it with Vanilla, so I don't know if it'll work like that. Well, I mean, I'm able to, if I can grab into the block, where I have half of a block in it, I can sit here and it behaves. I mean, I hold down shift, it, I, I stick to it. You can? Yeah, I mean, it acts Sweet. like a ladder. I thought that was only with uh, Marus, but that's awesome to know now. There we go. Alright, our campfire has gone out. Yay! And this is where we go and get some willow. Let's just start packing this thing in. We can figure out the door along the way. Uh, 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 um, let me see. Willow. Let me dump off a bunch of crap. Oy, I just have so much stuff on me. I actually want to keep that granite. wonder how long I've had that copper on me. So I found oh. mudstone and a whole huge cave system with uh, lava. Oh, very nice. How deep down are you? I'm at the lava level, like 19 to 11. And you know what I need to do still? Is I need to actually explore like what's right below me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've done that either. Alright, I should just put the chisel away. Let me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I missed filling up the very top just by that one area. Let me put these away. One hammer, one chisel. And I'm not sure we'll actually have enough willow tree. To fill the place up. Because I actually do kind of like uh, building with it as well. But there's two trees worth of saplings. Come on. I got one, two, three, four. Four trees I can knock down, so give me more saplings. There we go, there's three. Just one more. Four, there we go. 
Wait, wait. Yeah. One, two, three. That's an oak tree, actually, isn't it? Alright, one, two, three it is. So I'm kind of hoping with how close I planted my uh, my saplings, the ones that didn't grow didn't do so because of the space they had, and that now they will proceed to grow right quickly. Don't know if that is how it will work or not. But it's a possibility. <laughs> Make sure we didn't lose any of the water over here. Doesn't look like. will do badly. Very, very badly. Oh, I had a cave in. Uh oh. Did I'm it fine. reveal any ores? It was <laughs> a small one. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, uh, well. Four is enough to do another one. Oops. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 more stacks of wood to fill this sucker up. 14? Seriously? Alright, I don't have tons of plans for the sycamore. And that's only two. Oi. One stack, two stack, three stacks. I've got quite a bit of oak, I could do something with that. There's four. I do have quite a bit of hickory, I suppose. Five, six, seven, not eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, ah, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. That should be more than enough. Although I do need another sycamore door right there. I do have a lot of planks left over. Alright, what's one of the less thans? I'm still just so used to that putting it down properly. Well, uh, as in a log pile as opposed to the log. Four, five, six. So, the tricky part with this is that to fill them up, they have to be full of the same type. Some of this oak is likely to get a free ride out of here. One, two, 
one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna be short one wood type, one, <laughs> one log. Yay! That's five. Just because I can't stack what I have. Oh, oh. I remember that now. That is not a good thing. Uh, so we need three more sycamore. One more hickory. And a door. So I was thinking of using this for now. We'll be able to walk back and forth like that. Very, very nicely. There we go. One fully loaded. And I am so not making another freaking fire starter. I have got to have like 20 of these things around here now. Ah! Aha! It's a Dunkleosis. How long have you been listening in? just started. Yeah. So, just, <laughs> yeah, a couple seconds ago. Yeah. Aren't you around here somewhere? Yes, you are. What have you guys been up to? Nothing. Mining. I found business in the night. Well, I'm looking for business in the night. I'm like, I've, I've, I've found a very large sample. Nice. But I haven't actually found it yet. And I found traces Yay. of Lake Night. Lignite is... do you know what lignite is? Iron. I think it's iron, right? Nope. Coal. It is coal, yeah. Oh, good shit, that's what I was looking for anyway. I came down here for coal and... coal. Alright, I am going to hop into bed since I got my charcoal pit light lit. Are you in? I am in... You should be good to... There we go. Daylight. Ta-da! <coughs> Alright, guys. We're going to pick this up after I get some charcoal so we can continue on lighting up our bloomery and our, uh, our forge here. So we will be right back as we watch Dunk Parkour all <laughs> around my house again. Uh, I'll see you guys in a moment. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're back. The mini charcoal pit is a success. And now we just grab some charcoal. Ah! Tell me that. <laughs> Cannot find charcoal in your head. Ah! No! Where'd you get that? <laughs> it was in my inventory. Break it. Why do I keep getting shovels? <laughs> I threw it at you. <laughs> Alright. So, final step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pocus Pocus! Yay! A forge! Na, 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 na. Oh! Let's get some food on there. Because, you know, that's what everybody thinks of the first time they let up a forge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I did. sure. Could also use some torches. I don't, I've been getting low. But I should have a good stack of food here somewhere. There we are. 
A lot of eggs, a lot of pork. Is there any easy way to get a cave in? Um, dig up above you. The yeah, higher the just... gap, the more likely it is. Higher the gap, the more stone above, the less stone below, the better the chance of a cave in. And today we shall have roast dunk. Get off! I can't click it while you're standing on there. Let's <laughs> make the eggs. Ah. They're certainly not cooking up all that fast, no are they? Well, I mean, you also get the, um, the amount of eggs you can cook at once. Oh god, what are you doing? I am cooking pork. I took them out to move them down to a lower slot to heat them up faster. No! I got charcoal, put it in there. So. You guys should really, the, the, the lignite you found would be handy. Yeah, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> Finally, Jesus. You found that cave in. You just oh, find it or that cave in? No, that cave in. <laughs> you had enough torches on the ground, right, to just automatically turn it all into cobble? I don't have any torches. I use um, planks on the ground. Eh, whichever works. Hmm. And I line it all the way to the bottom of my place so that it, uh, there's no cobble on my exit path. Nice. Uh, okay guys, I'll, I'll stop cooking food here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Just so happy to have this all working. It's the little steps that make it worthwhile. Oh, temperature's starting to come down. Next thing we're going to do is work on making <laughs> some uh, copper and some uh, tin so we can get some bronze going. Where's the bronze anvil? Bronze anvil, I believe, over. is over at Mike's. Yep. You Unless somebody move moved it. it. Are you going to move it over here? Why? Yeah, it's his. You can have the well, copper one, that was basically your copper since you used yours. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I mean, you're not going to make another anvil, are you? Probably not. I mean, when you get up into the iron steel area, then yeah, I will make another anvil. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, as long as you don't ever have two of the same anvil once. No, we'll have two steel anvils. Will you? Yeah, why not? Because it's 14 steel? Yeah, I'm not the person who made this mod. <laughs> I didn't make that part. <laughs> alright, alright. So, next part is the bloomery here. And apparently, I did not put any of my sticks in any of those chests. I didn't take them. Nah, as I know I have them, it's just they're all spread around all the chests because I just have so many. There's sticks in here. Well, I've been picking them up out of the other chests as I've gone along. Yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do with sticks is this. Ta-da! This will give us access to the bloomery for now. What is it? Ladders. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Ta-da! Don't fall in there. You're not coming back out. And we'll need a metallurgy table, which I got a whole bunch of granite for. Well, not really for it, but that's the way that it worked out. Uh, so let's just take... Yeah, I'm not going to use Douglas fir planks for anything. So that'll give us a crafting bench. That is quite bright, that lava. <laughs> uh, let's break off these guys. Nah. Where do I want to put this? Where do I want to put this? I actually want to put the metallurgy table probably right there. Hearing that burning noise of being in a mostly wooden house is going to drive me nuts. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Oh, I actually need... Oh, wait, I already made leather. I put the leather here. No. Ah! Well, oh, there's six rawhide. Do I have the leather on me still? No, it's gotta be in one of these chests. Damn it. Well, give me that. There we go. Not leather in there. here. It's in the top. Yeah, thank you. One, two, three. And I have a lot of planks in here. So, we'll do three across the middle. That will get us a second bellows. That'll get us a door for the bedroom. And you know what? Just for looks, let's take that with us. Probably should take that stupid crafting table with me too. Wow, I finally <laughs> found the bismuth. Really? Is it a lot? Um, looks to be, but uh, it's like one level above lava. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's some bullshit. <laughs> is it is it spread out or is it one big chunk? Uh, oh, oh no, hold on. Now it won't let me place it. Uh, oops, a, uh, a bellows. You can put it one block above the, the forge as well. Like, zap it up on this block. It would still uh, work. I can't place it anywhere in here. Toss it to me. I've been having weird placement issues all day. Oh, whoa. Oh, these blocks are half slabs. I bet you it doesn't like that. <laughs> That's probably it. That's lame. Everything else can be placed on it. Yep, as soon as I change it over to a full block, it works. Oh, let me grab that other half slab. Maybe I can confuse it. There, see if you can place it next to the forge now. Yep. Yeah, figures. That's really not the place where it's. I don't think that's the place where it's supposed to go. Like, I don't think the forge is supposed to allow. It was, and then it wasn't, and now it does again. So I'm happy. What I mean is that, like, I think the original intent was to have the, the bellows above the forge. Yeah, but only because of limitation in programming. Um, Not really? The forge was... Well, we kind of broke it. I mean, we went all out and that's when we made, were making forges out of leaf blocks and snow blocks and ice blocks and signs and, you know, any other thing that we felt like making it out of. And Biox went, no. No, 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 no. And then made it almost impossible to make a forge out of anything. Apparently he's undone that. Or you undid it without telling him. <laughs> Do is do there something, something you want to confess to, uh... Um, I think I, incre I increased the durability of armor by ten times when I'm talking. <laughs> I don't think he's noticed yet. <laughs> nice. Well, if hey, he didn't who? play the game, if he played the game arc, he would have noticed. <laughs> well, here's another little oddity. I don't know if you've seen this, but I can't chisel that block there. Hmm? This one? It won't let me chisel it. If I take my my trusty tools, what are you trying to do with it? I want to make it an upside down staircase so it matches all the other ones, and nothing. All right, um, can I see I have, a, I have like a small idea what the problem is. Where are you going? I need to find a piece of stone. Okay. Alright, so, as I was saying, metallurgy table. Uh, we make a metallurgy table by 
putting down the sycamore. Yeah, I do gotta say I kinda like the look of the sycamore stuff. Yeah, anyways. Uh, crafting table, we will need, I'm just gonna put it there for now. But, metallurgy table. Really? Did I not get the eighth piece? Okay, metallurgy table is like that. This so, will allow us to mix the metals of the ingots back and forth. And I really want to put an ingot there, or an anvil there. So the metallurgy table can't go over by the bellows. If I stand like this, it'll work. It doesn't work. Very, very. I wasn't able to figure it out. <laughs> Can I click a metallurgy table from the side? Should be able to. Oh, nice. I can put the anvil on top of it, I bet. Oh, well, it, it does it the Yeah, other it does way. it the other way. Alright, you got any more stone? Alright, uh, are you gonna waste it again? Hopefully not. I won't, I won't click it the wrong way this time. Uh, this is the uh, last 16 pieces of that stone I have. Oh, right. my forge finally went out. Look at that. It's dead cold. Okay, so let's go up here. Just going to... What the shit? Feed the bloomery. Yeah, let's get that nice and warm. Just have charcoal in there. Yep. Just heating the bloomery up. Alright, so... With the height of the bloomery that we have, I believe Wait. it's eight pieces of ore or coal per level. Well, that's always a tricksy one. All right, here we go. Let's just throw in a full stack of that. See how the numbers look. Look at all that ore. All right, so now threw in six pieces of charcoal. Nope, not yet. Almost there. I can tell you when it's equal. It's just over, I think. Yeah, I've, I'm assuming it's going to consume another piece of charcoal to maintain the heat before yeah. it will actually output the uh, the copper. I found that uh, the heat, well, from from cold, it'll consume two more charcoal than you have or copper ore. Okay. So yeah, that's what I figured about. Ten to eight for me. So I usually put in eighteen to sixteen whenever I do it. Where are all my cook molds? I saw a ten in some in uh, this chest. Yeah, there we go. Those are the ones I was looking for. And I got a little bit of copper left over, so this will be nice. Uh, I think there's there was a bunch of raw molds back at uh, the original yeah, area. Yeah, well, I got like sixty three on me right here. Ah, uh, really? Okay. Yeah. I should probably start cooking those up then. It's, I, yeah, I just haven't cooked them. Mm. So, yeah, if we put that in there... What we're going to need... It's one of those I need charcoals. a new pick. Yeah. Charcoal's looking good. Ah! I swear I put a shovel on the wall. Oh, do you want that back? No, I can make another one. Just it wasn't it. there. <laughs> Ah. Let's go get a little bit more coal here. Let the bloomery do its thing. I like the um the oak on sycamore contrast. Yeah, I do like that. That looks pretty nice. Alright, so I was having fun breaking the coal. <laughs> and there we go. We got our mm -mm, copper. Ta da! And unfortunately, I don't have anywhere to keep it warm yet. 
so it'll just sit there for now. Let's take a look at the... Ah! I guess it won't sit there. It will sit here. You can... Yeah, it'll, it'll, it will stay warm in there. And let's just put a little bit more into here. Throw in another stack of that. Or not. Is this smooth shell you're working with? Yep. I like the way it looks. Yeah, it does look good. Okay, they're about equal. I just threw in a stack of each. Hmm. Well, a stack of ore and then eight charcoal to match. Alright, so. Oh, this is cooking. This is cooking. Let's get those molds in there. And the next thing we'll want to do is a little bit of tin. So I'll get out the castle right, get that ready. Let's go grab a little bit more charcoal while we wait. It's already time to start filling this place back up again. Mm. Uh, your bloomery is the temperature fluctuating because you don't have enough charcoal in it. Oh, but I had even. Oh, people had burned some. Cheaty freaking thing. Are there any sequoias nearby? Not that we've seen. Well, because they don't break anymore, so that's good. Or, I mean, they, they do break, but they break well. <laughs> they don't crash anymore. <laughs> they don't, yeah, they don't break the game. Alright, we should be good there. Got a little bit of coal for here. Oops. piece of that. Oops, charcoal is lower. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, equal. Yeah, I just chucked another piece back in. Yeah. Alright, should be about ready to produce. Any minute now. I'm hoping less than that. There we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And now we will get ready with some cassiterite. Uh, okay. Okay, there's a stack, or 8 plus 2. Whoa, did I jump? No. Okay, still good. Can take those. Alright, so we got quite a bit of copper in there. If I remember correctly, it's three copper to one tin? Yeah. Four bronze? Yep. Okay. Uh, your stuff's already melted. The cassiterite? Yeah, but you have a, uh, a copper unshaped in there. Yeah, that's fine. It's not doing nothing. It didn't mean no harm. Alright, so... I desperately, desperately, desperately need to get rid of some of these sticks. <laughs> me. Isn't your stuff getting cold? Yeah, one of them, but I have more in the bloomery, so I'm not worried about it. Three, four. But you it's took still all four really out? liquid. All right, one, two, three, four, four. Ta-da! And we'll just keep that in temperature. Uh, how many more copper did I have? Just two and a half? Yep, just two and a half. So I would need to do a little bit more copper. Let's get this uh, castle, or tin out of there first. And we'll put that into storage. There we go. And let's go get a little bit more copper. Oh, we might as well do a full stack, why not? You have a stack of copper in one of your chests down on the mainland area. I do? Yeah. Pretty sure you do. No! Ah! Son of a bitch. Yeah, 
It's in the top chest here. That is a shit ton of charcoal. What? What did you do? I dropped my stack in there, so it ate it all. Huh. Oh, no. Well, it spit uh, out 12 pieces that it's not going to use. But that means I'm just going to be melting down a lot of iron and well, copper, or a lot of ore right now. <laughs> here's what I'd do. I would, uh, I would extend your thing taller so you can put as much ore as possible in there. You can still put an extra block up there. Yeah, I could. Let's add in the top ladder. There we go. Ah, stop that! Stop that! <laughs> and don't want to mix metals, so I'll just give them a stack of copper. And just to be on the prudent side, we will throw in half of it. No, nope, we will throw in all of it. There we go. They're nearly equal. But actually, I don't know if, that, if you'll have much excess. At the, at the, you have a clay mold in there. Oops, I clicked the wrong one, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, alright guys, I'm just going to finish off making this bronze, and I will catch you up next time. We'll probably be off hunting for iron, or maybe work a little bit more on the house, or even do a little bit of gardening. We will see where we are the next time we meet. Until then, thank you for watching, and have a good one.